Hi guys, Rob A46 here, working yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. We're going on to Racing World today because in the last video with the Kawasaki H2, we unlocked uh, Leon Haslam's JG Speedfit Kawasaki, which is what we're going to be using today. So first race at Road America. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Team Bournemouth Kawasaki, the JG Speedfit Kawasaki. Let's have a little look at it. And uh, yeah, we're going to find out today how it handles and how it feels to play. Because uh, so far, the BYZ Ducati has probably been the best best bike so far. So it'll be interesting to see how this compares. Got Leon Haslam's 91 on there. Nice. So just for those people who want to read the, uh, the model description, here you go. Obviously, you can uh, pause the video if you want to... Uh, actually read it because uh, unless you can read like an absolute jet engine then um, yeah I have no idea what the hell I just said <laughs> anyway let's get on with the race at Road America so here we go um, yeah everything is as it should be let's get on with it alright here we go Oh, it's a bit slow off the start, so not the best of starts, struggles to get off the line. Road America, usually the AI are pretty strong around here. I have turned traction control completely off, so we are going to be sliding a bit, I think, and spinning up. It's spinning up a little bit. a bit of slipstream now. Yeah, we've got a place and not getting any more. Try to go around the outside of them. Yeah, we've got the Norton, so we're up to sixth place and up to sixth still. So staying in sixth. Up the inside and we're up to fifth. No, we're not. We're back down to sixth. Spun up the rear too much. Okay, on the brakes. Can we get him? Through we go. It's not working. Okay, so we're standing sixth place. Through the inside we go. That didn't work either. Wow, okay. So, around the outside. Oh, we're not doing that little kinky part. We're going through this part. This is another kink. This is a layout I actually prefer. And uh, we've made up a couple of places, so we're up to fourth. We get third on the brakes. I'm going to outbreak myself, aren't I? A bit too wide, we're going to lose that. Yeah, back down to fourth. The inside back up to third. So there is second place, spinning up the rear again. We need a good exit out of the final corner. Onto the long start finish straight. We may be able to pick up a little bit of slipstream here. In fact, we are. We're starting to gain. We are gaining on second place. Can we get him before we have to get on the brakes? Ooh, on the brakes, but we got him. Pass we go. We're in a second. The leader is just there, so... See if we can catch him. There is a little bit of a gap at the moment to try and bridge, but hopefully we will be able to get there. Yeah, definitely happened to uh, actually push in this race to uh, catch the leader. 0.8 of a second at the moment. That's actually going to be quite difficult to close down on this track. But I will give it a good go. I mean, there are a couple of areas where we can close that gap down. We were both very wide through there. Yeah, looks like it's come down a little bit. And the brakes into the left. Yeah, that gap's definitely come down. For probably just about half a second, 0.6. Let's see if we can close in through the right-hand kinks. We were pretty good through there last time. Oh, no. Not as good a line that time, but we did close in a little bit. Got a bit of dirt in my face. 
bit earlier on the brakes this time. Keep it going. If we can get close enough, we may be able to slipstream them down the straight. But I don't think we're going to be able to get them by the line. We're definitely close enough to slipstream. We're closer than what we were the last time through the last guy. Yeah, we're not going to get him by the line, so we need to make sure we're in front of him from that final corner on the last lap, and we are in the lead. Oh, how long will we stay here? Hopefully we can pull away, but I'm not so sure we can. Gone a bit wide there. Oh, there he is. He's on the Tyco BMW. Can we stay ahead of him? Tenth of a second is our lead. Stop as we go downhill. Is he going to try? Oh, he was pretty close then. If I was a little bit wide, he would have come through on the inside, but we were in the way. Through the right hand kink. Oh, spun up the rear a bit. I think we might be alright. We are slowly but surely pulling away. Three tenths. And we know we're pretty good through that right hand kink. That's where we make up quite a bit of time. So I think we might be alright. That was better than love the last lap through there. Yeah, we've really pulled away now. Get it stopped for this corner. bit wide kicking up a bit of dirt slide in the rear 0.3 of a second he's not going to be close enough I don't think nah he's not going to get us by the line so we are going to win at Road America but really had to try on that race there we go we won but only just well, let's uh, hope that the, the rest of the races are pretty close as well. How far behind was he by the end of the race? Half a second. So not much at all. Let's go to the next one. So the next one, in the wet at Imola. This could be quite interesting. Okay. How will we get on here? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do this. Again, not the best to start. But we're going to be spinning up quite badly in the in the wet. Through we go. Managed to squeeze through. Up to four. Okay, we're going to have to go around the outside. Yeah. Can we get up the inside a second? Not quite. But we're into third. Oh, spinning up. We're on the wrong side for this corner. He's on the inside. Oh, no. I was going to try and cut back, but couldn't quite manage it. He's a bit of slipstream. Through on the inside. That's going to put us on the outside for the left. Yep, that's sent us wide. That's messed us up. I should have just yielded then, but I didn't want to. Well, we've definitely closed back in. Try and get a good run up the hill. Yeah, we're into second. Can we do anything about the leader? We've got the chicane coming up. Wow, he went through there pretty quick. So the leader's pulling away. Can we go with him? Can we do anything about him? Nope. I see no cones. We're going straight over. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Is he, what's he doing? He's weaving away with the place. Well, that really slowed him down. Okay. Well, he's back in the lead. Going to switch to the inside. Oh. 
Oh no, just spun up a bit there. Let me get the power on. And work up the inside we go. So we're back in the lead. Through this hairpin. I don't know what he was doing on that straight. Oh no, we've left the door open and he's through trying to cut back. Come on. Yeah, we got the run. We got the run. We're back in the lead. Through the double left. Staying in the lead for now. We've got the double right. Up the hill we go. Get into the chicane. Whoa! Steady on, mate. I know you're pretty quick through there, but Jesus. Look, I didn't come off then. Oh, he's trying to go around the outside. Hasn't worked. He's definitely putting up a fight here. Okay, now we're onto the... Uh, it's not really a straight. Look how much time we, we pull away. I don't think that the AI have been programmed properly for this layout of track. I think they, they still think that the chicane is still there. Hence why they kind of go over to the right hand side. And maybe slow down a bit because they're about to break for the chicane. But then they're like, oh no, we're going straight over. Bizarre. But anyway, we're on the final lap. We're in the lead. Everything is a good. Yeah, I, d I definitely want to have a look at that incident at that chicane again. So I might actually check out the the replay of the whole race in a second. And maybe put it in the video as well. Okay, up the hill. I think they are starting to close me down a little bit. I know we're pulling away now, but I bet he closes in through this chicane. Very quick through her. Yeah, he has. He's closing me down. I think we should be alright. As soon as we get on that straight. Then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just be able to gap him. He's really close. There he is. Didn't even get the best of exits, but... He'll slow down now, yeah. And then... That's it. The line is approaching and we're done. That was quite a tough race actually. Again, we couldn't really mess about in that one. We had to uh, give it our all. So two from two. Definitely want to check out that, uh, that replay of that race. Okay, so here we go with the replay. So we didn't actually get the best of starts. Managed to hold position. But then going into the chicane, we managed to... Uh, Outbreak a few of them and just squeeze through on the inside. And then try to go around the outside to put us up the inside for the next corner and got another position that puts up to fourth. And to get into third, went around the outside. Try to sneak up the inside to second place, but didn't quite work. Spun up the rear a bit there. And then into the hairpin on the wrong side, trying to go around the outside, which was not going to work. I tried to cut back, but he was in the way. But eventually we managed to uh, get the drive up the hill, use a bit of slipstream, pass the Ducati we went. But we were on the wrong side and as we flick left, um, I went too wide. That gave uh, a little gap to them. And then try to make that up on the brakes. We eventually caught back up to that Ducati and then got the run up the hill. And then up to the chicane. Just watching an empty circuit for a little bit. So we're up to second at this point. Through the chicane we go. See, they're not that quick into the uh, the chicane. The guy's in second, third and fourth and that. But that lead, he was bloody quick in there. So coming to the double left. And out of here. Spin up the rear a little bit. And then... 
This is where we actually close in on the AI because he goes to the right and slows down a little bit and carries on going. And then he kind of like weaves a little bit. So he goes to the right and then we go past, which is very bizarre. So we're back in the lead, but it doesn't last long because he goes around the outside. That puts, us up, puts him up the inside for the left. Try to get a drive out, but spin up the rear so it couldn't quite get past him. And on the brakes, through we go. Again, short-lived because when we get up to the hairpin, I uh, leave the door open slightly and he sneaks through. So I cut back, try to get the drive up the hill. Managed to get it. So he managed to sneak through into the lead. And through the double left. We were in the way of him, so he couldn't get past there. But we're coming up to the part which I really want to look at, which is the uh, the incident at that chicane where it went straight into the back of me. So up the hill we go. So here is the chicane. How far back did he come from? He's quite far back. Yep, straight into the back of me. Luckily I stayed on. But yeah, he, uh, he just wanted to ride straight through me. And then he tried going around the outside for the next corner and then a bit of a bit of a nudge that sent him wide and then we got back through and that was pretty much it we managed to just uh, stay ahead of him now because obviously at this section we just pulled away because they were doing some weird things on this section so that's lap two done we're on the final lap now and we got quite a nice lead at the moment but we know by the end of the lap that really goes right down and he goes right on our tail. Let's just see if we can see where he actually closes in. I think that the main place he's going to close in is through the chicane. We've still got quite a decent lead at the moment. We know we can get a good run up the hill. Actually, it looks like it's closed down a little bit there. Still quite a nice lead. Through here maybe he might have closed in because he was pretty good through the double left. But then we know we're better than him through the double right as we go up the hill as well. So again, quite a nice lead. And this, I reckon, is where he really closed in. Yeah, he did. He really closed in through that chicane. He's almost right on the back of me there. So down the hill we come for the final time. I was a bit wide there. That allowed him to close in a bit more. And then he was right on me. Spun up the rear on the exit, which wasn't the best of exits, but I knew that we were safe because at this point... He would have start slowing down a little bit. And uh, we managed to take the win. There we go, guys. That is that race done. On to the next one. Next one. Oh, Tenerife. Okay. Well, at least this is the uh, okay layout of the circuit and not the, uh, the shorter one. So here we go, then. Let's see what we can do with this. Here we go. I know the start's not going to be great. Actually, that wasn't a too bad a start at all. We made a position up already. I'm going to do my usual thing and go around the outside through this left. And that has worked again. We slot into third and maybe even second. Maybe even the lead if we can outbreak him into the left. So we're in the lead. Gone in a little bit too hot. But yeah, the uh, JG Speed at Kawasaki is pretty good. Feels pretty damn quick. I don't think handling-wise it feels as good as the BYZ Ducati in this game. I probably do prefer the Ducati overall. But it's still a pretty quick bike. So 0.8 of a second lead already? Really? Okay. Oh, that was way too hot into that hairpin. Bit of a wheelie, massive wheelie in fact. Doing through here. No, fourth gear was not the way to go through that. That sent us too wide, and they're back on me now. 
that lead we had is all gone. Now we're starting to pull away again. Nice. Really build that lead back up again. This corner is annoying. Oh, spun up the rear there and had a little slide. A bit wide. Okay, we got that really tight corner coming up which we need to go careful of through here and into the next corner oh spinning up the rear again oh that was almost in the barrier 1.6 second lead at the moment let's see if that comes down through the last couple of corners final corner the long right hander where you have to be so patient they have closed that gap down what is it going to be over the line it's definitely not 1.6 anymore it's one second that's fine do i know that we'll start extending that again here this is probably going to be the easiest race we've had on this bike so far couple of cracking races. Seems like this one seems a little bit easier than the last two. The biggest uh, win we've had so far with this bike is uh, just over a second and that was in the last race at Imola. We've got 1.6 at the moment and that's going to go up quite a bit in the next uh, next sector. That was better through that. Didn't wheelie as much either. Right, third gear through it. Yeah, that was much better. Fourth gear just pushed, pushed me a bit too wide last time. Okay, get it stopped for the next left hand kink. Done. for this next king. Oh, I think I've gone in too hot. No, nope, absolutely fine. Not too bad through that. Frame rate's having a little bit of a fart in session. Oh, a bit too wide. Way too wide in the dirt. That's lost us a bit of time. Point seven. So yeah, made a few mistakes there. So that gap will come down again through the final corner. Last time it was a second over the line. If I do the same exit again, it will probably be about 1.1 over the line. If we get a better exit, it might be a bit more. We've got one more lap to go, and we have got 1.4, so we had a much better exit out of that final corner. I can't even see him on the map at the moment. Let's just push for this final lap. And then we're going to be done with this race. I know we've got a uh, Northwest 200 race coming up at some point, and a drag race. Two point seven. That's as big as the gap's been yet. Let's keep it going then. Let's keep advancing, and we will be done very shortly.
through this left kink again for the final time. That was close to the dirt on the exit there. And we've got the other kink coming up. Oh no, that is way too... Oh, that was close to hitting that pole then. I thought I was going in a bit too quick that time. Just missed that pole. Just calm down. We're nearly at the end. We've got a nice lead. We don't need to throw it away now. A bit too wide. Two point four. Yeah, that's fine. We will take the victory. Two corners left to go. Now just the last corner, the long right-hander. And away we go. And we are going to win. It's going to be by over a second. That's going to be our biggest win margin so far with the JD Speedsfoot Kawasaki. What did we win by? Only three stars for that one. But yeah, we won by 2.6 seconds. Northwest 200. I knew this one was coming up. Okay, let's see how we get on. Then we got a drag race, then Cadwell Park, and then Daytona International Speedway. So let's get on with the Northwest 200 then. See how we get on with the Kawasaki. Okay. This could be quite interesting. Here we go. What's going on with the frame rate? Oh, oh the, the frame rate is having a trouble. Wow, this could be quite off-putting, actually. 60 FPS, my ass. What is it doing? Oh, he's crashed. Oh, thanks for that. The roundabout. Wow. Oh, where's he going? I don't know if the uh, if the AI seem to... I don't know when the AI seem to make loads of mistakes. It seems to be when the, the frame rate's like shitting itself. So I don't know if... I don't know. It's weird, but it's so annoying when the frame rate does this. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's really off-putting. Just have to try and... Uh, Concentrate and make sure that uh, it doesn't put me off too much. Like I said previously, in like, um, I can't remember what my GP game it was, it might have been like a GP 14 or something like that, um, when the frame rate used to do stuff like this and like start stuttering, if you used to look behind you a couple of times. Oh, fucking hell, what was that? <laughs> Whoa, that was so close to being taken out then. Jeez. It was like really far back as well. You must have just not hit the brakes. Tried to torpedo me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, with the uh, the frame rate and the, uh, the Mac GP games. I used to look behind you a couple of times. And it would kind of sort the frame rate out, which was really bizarre. It doesn't seem to work with this game when it does have a moment with the frames. Uh, just stick with it for this race. Hopefully it will sort it out with the next race. It was stuttering a little bit in the last race, but not too bad. But yeah, it seems to be having trouble with this, this track. I have noticed they have sorted something out with this, this track, actually. Those, um... Those dashes in the middle of the, the road that I'm basically inside... When this game first came out, they used to be like a solid block of white until you got quite close to them and then they kind of uh, went into the dashes. This used to be a solid block of white and then when you got closer, just like the graphics would kind of like pop in. That doesn't happen anymore, but I'm wondering if uh, the effect of that is uh, having the, the frame rate shit its pants. 
I don't know, I'm, I'm not a technical person when it comes to game developing, but something I've just noticed actually. Um, that, that was a, a big thing that I noticed when uh, this game first came out was uh, those solid blocks of white that would eventually pop in, would pop out, um, and the lines would render in, but it seems fine now, but yeah, it's just frame rate on this rate is race is just bloody horrendous. We've gone in too hot. Wow, that was a mistake there. Come on. We're at the end of the first lap, we've got two more laps to go. Well, the good thing is, no one is close enough to actually torpedo a bike at me this time. I can't believe how close that was. Very close. Very close to uh, getting completely wiped out. Oh, too hot into that. Ooh. Come on, sort it out. But when I'm by myself, the frame rate would have kind of settled down a bit. But it hasn't. Okay, right, let's just try and ignore it, but it's so bloody off putting. So what is our lead? What is our lead? 5.6 seconds. I think we've got this one in the bag already. We've got another lap to go, and I know when we get to the chicane, we'll uh, pull out even more of a lead. Okay, well, I'll have to think about braking very soon, here we go. 6.1 second lead, that's fine. No, no one was nowhere near me that time, so that's good. A bit wide there, that's okay. Right, that's uh power down to the chicane. Six point one still. Break. Yeah, not too bad. But that is where we're gonna extend our lead even more. So it was six point one, I'm expecting it to be at least seven by the next split. about to find out. Break! 7.7. .7. And I'm expecting it to go up even more now, so probably about over 8 seconds now from that of that chicane. I might come down again if we uh, mess up the, the, the third chicane, but hopefully we won't. Eight point three, yeah. Okay. Get through this corner. Which I really used to struggle with on Ride Two when this uh, when Ride Two first came out. So I did not know my way around this track at all. And uh, I used to keep just basically going up there way too fast and flying off the edge of the cliff. Which obviously is not what you want to be doing. It's weird as well, I've, I have got a bit more confident around the full Nürburgring as well. It's by no means my best track and I'm still not that great around there. But I've definitely got a bit more confidence around there just from kind of learning the circuit and that. And uh, it's not very often now when I'm going around that, that circuit where I think, where the hell am I? And what corner am I on? But um, 
Yeah, obviously the more you, you play tracks, the, the more you're going to learn them and that. Which I know is why some people ask me, like, how do I know where to break and that, and it's just going too wide. Um, it's, it's literally going into time trial and just doing trial and error. I mean, obviously, you need to kind of learn your own breaking markers. It might be slightly different to mine or other people's gone into. Oh, just got it stopped there. Yeah, it might be slightly different to other people's, but you just got to find what, what works for you. And literally time trial is the best thing you can do because you can experiment and you don't have to worry about any results or anything as long as, like... The, the thing is, when you're learning a new track, you don't want to be going for, for lap time straight away. You literally just want to learn what the corners are, which way they go, and then start to learn your braking markers um, what gears you need to be in going through certain corners and that obviously that may differ for, for different bikes and definitely for different categories of bikes um, again it's just something you kind of get used to and sometimes you can kind of like guess like if you're using a, a slower bike than you have before then you can kind of guess that you you can kind of brake a little bit later um, and depending on what kind of bike it is. If it's like a 125, you can brake a hell of a lot later because obviously you're not carrying in as much speed. But yeah, sometimes I, if I go back down to like a 125 now after using, say, this bike, um, I will be screwing my gear, gears up because I'll be putting it down a second gear for what would be second gear corners for this bike. But in fact, with the, the 125, a lot of the time, it's like you can get away with using third gear instead of second. Um, but yeah, it is purely down to trial and error with trying to learn a new circuit and that. Um, and yeah, you will have a lot of crashes and that. But um, obviously you don't need to get, try and go as quick as you can straight away, literally. If you're just poodling around, just trying to learn the layout of the circuit and then build your speed up. And then you'll kind of, naturally, you'll, you'll learn where to, where to break in that. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Using like the visual aids as well with uh, obviously with some some tracks like this one, sometimes you don't get breaking markers at all. You kind of got to use your own. Like uh, for this next corner, I generally use the ending of this little part in the middle of the road to uh, to break for this hairpin. Obviously, with slower bikes, you can get away with going a little bit later. But yeah, all about trial and error, and uh, the gearing again just down to trial and error and then when you're, you're confident with you, you know your way around the circuit you can just try different things with like suspension settings and gear gear ratios and stuff like that yes yeah, uh, it does take a lot of patience and I know some people don't have the time to do that kind of thing which is fine but uh, if you do it definitely pays to uh, to experiment with different things and then obviously when you go online um, you'll be a bit stronger as well is good unless you get clobbered and taken out by people who have no idea what they're doing which does happen sometimes that happens more often than not but yeah practice 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 so that that chicane we've just gone through that wasn't in ride two so that is something we, we've all had to learn for for this game and i was screwing that up quite badly when this game first came out and so not 100% with it, because uh, it's just one of those things, but we are getting better with it. But that is a Northwest 200 done. Let's get on to the next one then. Route 66. Let's see what we can do. Drag racing. Drag racing. I, I like to do in first person. Here we go. Came off the throttle a little bit there because I felt the front end coming up. And okay, we're in the lead. Now we're down to second. We're in the lead. Okay, so we're really close to someone. That Ducati. Oh, oh, what happened there? What was that? Was that we got the win? Wow. Okay. What happened? Because that Ducati was like, we're weaving all over the place. Why aren't we going in a straight line? Let me go to the right. That Ducati is right. That nudged me over the line.
So here we go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Let's go with the second second drag race. Let's try and get a better start this time. We actually got helped over the line by that Ducati in the last race. And that's what gave us the win. He just gave me a little nudge because you can see now we're not actually going in the straight line. I have no control over the steering. And now we're on the left-hand side. <laughs> okay, well, we won that one quite easily, but that was bizarre. Well, thank you, whoever was on that uh, Be Wiser Ducati, because you actually helped me in the first part. But we won overall, so that's good. On to the next race. Cadwell Park for the penultimate race of this category now. Let's get on it. Okay. Here we go. This bike will obviously be very familiar with this track. There's a uh, British Superbikes do come here. So I'm going to go around the outside if I can. Because the AI are pretty crap at getting onto this little straight. No, he wasn't too bad, but we just managed to edge ahead. That's the same guy that we've been fighting for with uh, basically in all the races on that Tyco BMW. So he's in second. We're in the lead. Got to hang third round here. I'm going to have to switch up the fourth and then break a little bit. Get flicked over. Down the hill we go. Now, are we doing the chicane or not? Doesn't look like it. I can see no cones apart from on the right hand side. So we're not doing the chicane, so that's fine. We've gone in way too hot. Over the mountain. Didn't really get the rear off the ground, just pulled a massive wheelie. This section, the, uh, the AI seemed to be pretty quick through. Okay, through the right. On to this start finish straight. There we go, lap one done. Only got 0.3 of a second lead through turn one. Should in theory pull away a little bit coming onto the straight, which isn't really much of a straight because it's got a little, little bend in it. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a lead. A second. Okay, we want third, and then we want fourth. And then, oh, a bit too late on the brakes there that time. Break a little bit later for the next corner. Better. That was a bit better as well, actually. Down the first, a bit wide. One corner to go, and then we got one lap left. 1.1 second lead at the moment. We haven't really pulled away that much on that flat. Might be different over the line. It is 1.2. So yeah, again, not really pulled away much. About 0.2 of a second in that whole lap. Okay, 1.8 now. Really pulling away. It's been quite a nice race. Hasn't been too bad actually. It's been uh, relatively easy. We haven't really had to push too much. Bends. One corner left to go. And we've got one more race to go. And that is going to be at a... Uh, yeah, the International Speedway. Done. One race left. 
And then we're done with this category. Five stars. Thank you very much. Two second lead. Okay, Daytona. Let's be having you for the final race. Come on. Here we go. The Bessa starts again, pulling a bit of a wheelie, but through the inside. And we're up to fourth place. Can we get past that KTM? We have. We're up to third. And he's back through. We've got a good exit. We're up to third again. Nope, we're going left. Okay, watch out for that bump on the brakes. There it is. Oh no! Oh, the uh, frame rate is shitting it's itself again. Come on, behave yourself. And we get that guy on the Tiger BMW. I have no idea who's in the lead then. That's our usual rival through. We're going to sneak through on the inside. Thank you very much. Okay, we have got that middle part coming up on the brakes. Oh, sneak through. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Alright, so we're in the lead. We are nearly at the end of the first lap. Frame rate is having a bit of a bit of a pooey time. I don't know what it's doing. Not too bad in the last race, but it's uh, decided to start shitting its pants again. A bit wide. Oh, sort it out. Come on. Stop stuttering. Bloody 2019 now. We don't want bloody frame rate issues in this day and age. Brakes. There's the bump. One point three second lead at the moment. Okay, just gotta remember that middle section. Get it stopped and turned in. And we'll have one more lap to go. There we go. Yeah, that was fine. Good exit as well. Really leaving them behind now. Final lap time. To turn one, 3.7 second lead. Frame rate still struggling. Okay. We're doing all right. That was close. I feel the front end kind of losing it there. But we managed to keep on. So we're going to win this race. And that means we're going to unlock a new bike. I think it's a retro MV Augusta, I think. Proper old school. Caney part, 3.7 second lead. It's going to be over four seconds by the time we get to the line now. 
I have just realised that like the past three or four career videos have all been on Kawasaki's. That wasn't even intentional, but it's just the way it's happened. But there we go. We are done. We have completed this category. And uh, yeah, JG Speedfoot Kawasaki. It's pretty damn good. So here's our new bike, Retro MV Augusta. Okay. And there you have it. That category is completed. We are finished racing world. Anyway guys, that is it from me. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.